Today I'm going to make um, a cocoa ravioli with a partridge filling and this video is dedicated um, to two of my colleagues um, Paula and Annika and one of them didn't even know what raviolis are mm. and the other one um, believe it or not um, got a muscle ache in her forearm by stirring tint ravioli mm. anyway the ingredients I'm using for my stuff are um, Parmesan cheese Ricotta cheese Some bay leaves Some uh, Simolina flour Of course we are using free range eggs Then we need um, pasta flour, uh, the double uh, O great one, and of course some olive oil. Then we need carrot, an onion as well. Then we need unsalted butter. Some fresh thyme. Then we need some fresh rosemary. Some juniper berries. Some cocoa powder. Then we need, of course, freshly ground black pepper. As well as some salt then we need also some uh, celery and of course the star of our ravioli um, I've got two partridges I asked my butcher to uh, debone them for me um, the breast fillets I will use for, for a different um, dish. Um, we need the four legs of the two uh, birds and the two carcasses. And if you watch closely, uh, you can see here and here the shots. Smash him! Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get started. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first thing to do is um, chop half a carrot, give this a good wash, and now chop it like so, cut it in half, in quarters, and then they are just in little chunks. Then get your knife through the carrots. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now grab one white onion, peel it or cut off the top and the root like so. Then cut into the first layer and get rid of the first um, papery layer then cut your onion in half then chop down then cut into the onion and down again and repeat with the other half. Smash in. 
Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now grab yourself a celery stick. We need only half a celery stick. Then give this a good wash. Then cut it in half. Then um, remove the stringy parts like so. Then cut into strips. And then chop like so. And now set aside until needed. Smash it. Righty right ladies and gentlemen. And after that much chopping, it's time for a zippy. Righty right ladies and gentlemen. And now get some olive oil and add about 2 tablespoons to a large pot like so. And bring this up to the heat on a medium high. Smash in. And while you're waiting until your oil gets hot, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now get two juniper berries and then simply crack them or crush them. Like so. Smash them. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when your oil is hot, add the carrots the onions and the celery and then add the crushed juniper berries then add two bay leaves then add one sprig of thyme Like so. Then add one sprig of rosemary. If you have uh, dried porcini mushrooms, um, you can add them now as well. I would go for three. Then give this a good seasoning of salt. and freshly ground black pepper and then fry and stir until your onions are soft and translucent and start to get some color and while your onions, carrots, celery and all the other stuff is frying it's time for the zippy. Righty right ladies and gentlemen um, and if you see any shots um, in the carcass like here or here remove it now um, I mean the shots will be removed later anyway but as long as you can find them now, get rid of them. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when your carrots are soft and the onions are starting to get some color, um, get your two partridge carcasses and the four legs add them to your bowl like so and brown them off meanwhile 
um, bring a kettle with water to the boil. Smash in. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and while your birds are getting brown and your water is coming up to the boil, it's time for the zippy. Right, right, and now add your water to the pan, and it should cover all the stuff about five centimeters above. Give it a good stir. Make sure you clean the bottom of the pan. Righty right, and now bring this stuff up to the boil. Smashing. Righty right, ladies and gentlemen, and while you're waiting for your broth coming up to the boil, it's time for a zippy. Righty right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your stock uh, is boiling, reduce the heat and simmer gently on a medium low heat um, partially covered for two hours smashing and while you're waiting for your broth and partridge to be cooked it's time for the zippy Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, um, still a lot of time um, spent and I got this nice bottle from a good friend of mine from Belgium. Thanks, Michel. Um, it's a beer, of course, but it has a cork like um, champagne. Mm. This small bottle is um, 750 milliliters and it has 9%. 9% of arc. So, let's give this a try. I'm not sure if this is really a beer or if this is sparkling wine. Looks good. Smells kind of lemony. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. But to be sure, give it another try. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now we are need 175 grams of double O uh, grade pasta flour. 
Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, add the flour to a food processor and then add four tablespoons of semolina flour. Now add four tablespoons of cocoa powder. Um, this sounds weird, I have to admit, but cocoa powder is um, kind of bitter, it's not sweet and this gives your ravioli a nice color and it works really well with the uh, partridge, if I may say so. And just make sure you don't use drinking chocolate. Smash in. Righty right, ladies and gentlemen. And now add two eggs. And then add one egg yolk as well. Separate the egg into a bowl like so then add one teaspoon of olive oil right right ladies and gentlemen um, set your egg white aside because we will need it later and now give your pasta dough a good whiz up. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And when your dough is kind of a breadcrumb mix, um, get it out of your food processor. Then get it out onto a clean surface and knead for, I would say, 10 minutes until it's very smooth. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and when you have a nice um, elastic dough, grab yourself some cling film. Wrap your dough up and then get your bowl into the fridge. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now we have to leave our dough for 30 minutes in the fridge. And while you are waiting, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now um, the stock should have been reduced by half. Get out, um, get your carcass out of the stock and the legs as well. Then leave this stuff to cool until it's. Yeah, Nice to handle, smash it, and now um, peel off the flesh of the bones and of the carcass if there's any left, and repeat with the remaining meat, smash it. Make sure um, you only grab the meat, not the skin. Righty right ladies and gentlemen and now chop this through to make sure you have no shots in the meat.
quite right, ladies and gentlemen. And when your um, um, partridge is finally chopped, set aside for a second. Then get yourself a sieve lined with muslin perfectly. Or as I do with kitchen paper. And then drain your broth. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now mm, what I like to do is um, get half of your broth into the pan and then reduce by half or until it's like a syrup smashing. That's the right ladies and gentlemen and with the other half I will uh, get this into a freezer bag or into two freezer bags. I will freeze it and then slowly defrost it into my fridge in a colander lined with a muslin paper. Reason for this is um, the fat will stay solid and you have a clean kind of a dark white wine looking broth. Smash it. Righty right ladies and gentlemen, and to a large bowl add your chopped partridge meat. To this I'm adding two tablespoons of ricotta cheese. Then I'm adding about two tablespoons worth of um, Parmesan cheese. Righty right, and now I'm adding kind of a half a egg yolk. You don't need that much. Separate the white from the egg yolk and for this amount I probably only need half of it then season to taste with a little bit of salt you don't need that much salt because the uh, parmesan is quite salty and then season with a little bit of black pepper righty right ladies and gentlemen and now grab a fork and mix everything together until well combined Righty right ladies and gentlemen, uh, and now the filling is done, the sauce is cooking away, and now it's time for a zippy. And to roll out our dough. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now mm. get your dough out of the uh, fridge and then grab your pasta machine. You should have a smooth. Um, 
lightly flour it. As you can see, I'm well prepared. Flatten it out like so. On the thickest setting, roll out your dough. Then lightly flour your dough with the um, double zero flour. Fold it over and repeat this step for at least five times. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, um, because I'm short of space, I cut the dough into half, fold it again, and then go a little bit slimmer on the uh, pasta machine. Then again, uh, lightly flour your dough. Then again, lightly flour your um, pasta dough. Um, and I think I will go for the setting number five and repeat all the steps until you have a fine sheet of uh, pasta dough right right ladies and gentlemen I'm actually now at setting seven um, I think this should be enough for the ravioli. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get a um, seven and a half centimeter cutter and cut off, cut off um, some rings like so. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get your egg white, um, mix it up a little bit, like so. When it's a bit foamy, um, get the edges of your passado. Um, lined with the egg white right right and um, now um, I got my uh, filling uh, put a teaspoon on each of the raviolis and now grab your ravioli and make sure you get rid of any air pockets gently fold them like so And 
and repeat with the remaining ones. Smash it. Righty right, now grab a fork and sear the edges. Woo! After that much work, it's time for the zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now get yourself a pot with water. Bring this to the boil. Smash it. And while you're waiting for your water coming up to the boil, it's time for the zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, And while your water is coming up to the boil, add a knob of butter, about I would say a uh, tablespoon, uh, let's say two, two tablespoons of butter to your syrup, be uh, kind of sauce, and reheat this on a low. Yeah, kind of, kind of a low heat, and always stir to get the butter incorporated into the syrup. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get a large frying pan. To this pan, at 60 grams, roughly of uh, unsalted butter and simply brown it off smash it All right right ladies and gentlemen and while your butter is browning the sauce is coming up to the boil and the water as well it's time for recipe Right to right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your water is boiling, add some uh, sea salt. Then add your ravioli and cook for about 3 to 4 minutes or until al dente. Smash in. Right to right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, When your pasta is cooked, um, drain it, like so. When your butter is brown, turn off the heat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to plate up. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, um, grab a plate, onto your plate, um, get your um, sauce, give it a good mix before you serve it, make sure every single bit is coming out. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, on top of your sauce, place your um, ravioli. Now drizzle with some ground butter. Then grab time um, you need not that much then 
just a little bit of time over your pasta and the plate. Alrighty, right, and now grate over some um, parmesan. Righty right ladies and gentlemen and here we have it the um, coco ravioli with a partridge filling really nice as a starter serve three to four ravioli Per person, nice one. Anyway, as always, at this time, this place, this very moment. It's time for a tea. Bye-bye, see you next time.